Hey everyone, my name is Jackie and I help people who are struggling with their finances living paycheck to paycheck to develop a unique zero-based budget specifically for them and their family in order to get a hold of their money and start managing it so they can live the life that they want. So if you're interested in learning about the zero-based budget, go down, we're going to jump on the computer here and I'm going to show you the budget that I have. Basically, it's the end of April, so we, we will be taking a look at how I did with my April budget, and we're going to go ahead and budget out May and June. So let's head on to the computer. You probably tell my voice is really rasped right now. I lost my voice this weekend, and I was hoping it would be back in time for the video, but it's not. Uh, so I apologize for that. And as you can tell, uh, we don't have very much furniture in our apartment. We no longer have the RV, so we're in an apartment. In addition, this month in April, the book that we had been working on was the life-changing magic of tidying up. So when it came to starting to add things to this apartment, I wanted to keep it very minimal, and I wanted it to be things that we that sparked joy, that we liked, and that we enjoyed. So it's going to be a little echoey. I have changed some things on the physical budget here and I'll go over that uh, with you. So for those of you have, who have seen my previous budget videos, uh, you have an idea of what's going on here. You're used to my layout. Uh, I also have a separate video, a tutorial showing you how to make this budget if you want to make it yourself. I just have it on Excel. Uh, but like I mentioned, I have added a few things to the budget. There are things that I wanted to be able to see kind of at a a one-page view or a glance, and so I'll kind of go over those. Uh, so if you have been here a while, bear with me. I'm going to go through some of these things in a little more detail this time. Uh, and if you're new, then uh, welcome, and I hope you understand what's going on here. So the idea of this budget is called a zero-based budget, and I learned this from Dave Ramsey. He actually has a paper form on his website that's free, so I'll leave a link for you guys in the description box if you want to pick up a paper form. And that's actually what I started with back in 2013 uh, is when I started doing this type of budgeting. And I used the paper form for about a year and then I started using an Excel template that was on Excel. And ever then I started doing my own because again, I wanted to see certain things on one page as one layout. Uh, and so that's just kind of how it's evolved from there. But the idea of a zero-based budget is that you tell every dollar that you're going to make where to go, whether it's for savings, giving, your regular expenses, paying off debt, your fun and recreation, whatever it might be, you tell it where to go. And so before I started doing this, I only told, I only knew what bills had a due date. You know, like, okay, rent, you know, whatever, my cell phone, those things. I budgeted those because they had a due date and I wanted to make sure I had money in my account. Uh, but I wasn't budgeting things like food, gas, fun. Uh, and so there would be times that I would have an overdraft or there would be times that I just would use a credit card instead of using money. Um, so this is a good way to get a handle on your money uh, so you can see where you're spending your money and you can determine what are your goals for your money. Are you trying to get out of debt? Are you trying just to barely make ends meet? Are you trying to save for a big purchase? Whatever your goals are, this is gonna help you get there because you're gonna see where you're spending and then you can start adjusting how you're spending to achieve whatever goal it is that you have. Uh, and again, if you're new, we paid off all of our debt at the beginning of last year. So we were completely debt free. So in our, my budget would be a little different from some of you who might have debt. Uh, and it might be different um, as well. We are a one income family primarily right now. Uh, so that might be different as well. You might have two incomes. So bear in mind, these might be a little different. In addition, like I mentioned, we were living in the RV. So now we have different expenses. So if you've been following this, uh, we have all of our stuff back from when we were getting out of debt. So we have what our expenses looked like back when we were renting a house, getting out of debt, what our expenses looked like when we were living and traveling in the RV, debt-free, and now we're going to see what our expenses are living in an apartment, debt-free, and working towards some other 
financial goals. Let's jump in, sorry, it's a long introduction. We start here, we have our income section. So basically, we have our source of our income, we have the budgeted amount, basically the estimated amount. Um, if you get a set paycheck, you know, every week or every other week, whatever it is, you might have a, a good idea of what you make every month. Uh, or if you have a, you do side jobs or you have a business, it may not be that predictable. So it would basically be whatever you're estimating that you think you're going to make that month or what you know you're going to make that month, so your budgeted amount. And then I have here our, our separate pay days. So now Ricky is currently getting paid every Wednesday. So for the month of April, I have on here that he's getting his four pay days um, on here. So we have Ricky's work. Myself, um, I get paid from Google from the ads on YouTube. Right now, I'm getting paid about every other month. As well, I have an Amazon affiliate. I'm part of the Amazon affiliate program, and I have that set up to pay me every time I make $10. And I've only gotten paid once so far from that. So my goal this year, um, even though we're already in April, my goal this year is to start helping um, hopefully increase those. But in addition, I am working on a website and some other products that I'm hoping that I can put out there to create my own business, if you will. So basically, Ricky's budget for the month of April uh, was $2,224.75. Um, the first paycheck, now he's working for a company, they do temp work, so sometimes they have a job that's only a couple days, sometimes they have a job that's um, a whole week in overtime and traveling. Um, so that's kind of what April looked like. Uh, moving forward though, he is in a set location for six months to a year. So we're going to start seeing that steady paycheck um, every week, which will be nice. Uh, so basically this is what he's made so far and we, we have one more paycheck for the 26th. So then our first category here of expenses or money coming out of our account is I have on here pay yourself first. Okay, So this is for me, this is we have different types of savings accounts. We have our emergency saving, which again I mentioned Dave Ramsey. We've been following Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps and um, that's another reason why we, we ended up getting out of debt. Baby step one was to have $1,000 saved as the beginning of your emergency fund. Baby step two was to get out of debt using the debt snowball, which we did. Baby step three was to save three to six months of your expenses as your official emergency fund. Now we have reached baby step three several times and then we've had to spend that money several times. So now we are starting baby step three over again. Ooh. So we're hoping eventually we won't have to keep going back and forth and we can progress forward. Um, from there, we'd end up opening, um, we'd end up doing our retirement fund, which we're going to be doing a Roth IRA. Uh, business and internet. So we've signed up for internet business. This is basically any expenses that Ricky has for work uh, because he is now learning a new skill. Uh, so he needs to start getting tools, things like that. And then for me, for uh, making videos and our website and things like that. So any business um, thing. So basically reinvesting money into a, a business or into your career so you can then um, eventually make more money from it. Uh, the other one is personal development or self-education or adult education, however you want to look at it. Uh, so we have my personal development and Ricky's personal development, so whatever we're working on. And then we do home, I homeschool the girls, so we have our homeschooling fund. So this is our pay ourselves first. So you're, again, yours might be different. You may only have your emergency savings and your retirement that you're working on. Um, but I do encourage you to start adding in there some self-development. So for pay yourself first, these are our categories. What we've budgeted for the month, we have we budgeted 160 to put into savings, 125 to go towards the business, and $54 have been uh, for my personal development, buying new books, things like that. Now Dave Rams is going to say, put everything extra you got. Once you're out of debt, you put everything extra you got into your, getting that emergency savings back up. However, I want to get in the habit of saving for all the different areas that we want to save in, and that's why I'm doing it this way. Jim Rohn actually mentions he's got a few other, he's got other percentages that he says, but he says it doesn't matter the percent, it doesn't matter the amount as long as you start. So he said if 90, you know, 7 percent of your money has to pay to survive, then at least put that other 3 percent, so one for giving, one for savings, one for, you know, some type of business investment. 
I've added personal development. It's you might start at one percent and then you can go up to two and three and four and you know whatever as you go. So I'm not focusing too much on the percents. I want to make sure I get something into those categories every month. So for there we have gifts. Now this um, Dave Ramsey says your gifts should be part of like your personal fund. However, I count gifts as giving uh, because you're giving to those that you love. Um, so these are birthdays, Christmas, or if we have um, a friend or someone who's in need, we can we can give them money there. And then we have donations, which would be to a, a charitable donation that is a tax write-off. So right now we're currently working on saving for Christmas. So that's what our money um, will be going into is saving for Christmas. Uh, so basically right now we we put fifty dollars um, towards gifts, and actually we ended up having to we spent that money for uh, birthdays within this this month. So the next one are what I would consider our regular expenses or our necessities. Uh, so our first one here is our rent. So we are in an apartment. Our rent actually includes our water as well. Uh, when we were renting the house, our we had a separate water. We had to sign up with the water company, and it was like a hundred dollars minimum and then your your usage so here it's sixty dollars so our rent's only eight hundred and something and then we have the sixty dollars for the the water into our rent i've gone ahead i put this as rent slash down payment so right now we're just paying rent in the future we want to add additional funds to save for a down payment or a house property something like that we are required to have renter's insurance which you should have renter's insurance anyways just to cover yourselves uh, as well, or um, or if you have a house with a mortgage, uh, you, you're going to have your homeowner's insurance. So our, it's $10.75. Okay, so our, our rent is $950.36, again with water. Our renter's insurance is $10.75. Now groceries, uh, we are currently trying to budget out $12 a day, meaning we don't go to the store and just spend $12 each day. What we do is for the whole month to budget it out, we say, okay, there's 30 days in the month, so we're gonna budget $12 a day, it's $360. If you saw before, I had a video on how we were doing, how we were managing on $9 a day, and when we were getting out of debt, we were actually doing $8 a day, believe it or not. So now that we're out of debt, we are gradually increasing our grocery budget. Uh, as well, I'm eating a primal diet, a paleo diet, uh, so I wanna make sure I'm eating I have money to eat, continue to eat the way that I want to eat. Um, if they have an asterisk next to it, that basically means that this is what we use as cash. So each time we get paid, I would be taking out the cash. And then when I go to the store, I would say, okay, I have $90 for the week, so I'd only bring my $90. And it helps you to stay on budget. Because if you if it says 110, well, you gotta put an item back. Personal care this month, we didn't budget anything out, but this is basically like toothpaste, uh, makeup, shampoo, deodorant, things that, um, like that. Household, uh, we ended up spending $26.81. We uh, basically toilet paper, paper towels, things like that for the household, cleaners. Uh, diapers, Elsa is potty training, which is good, so she's doing really good on potty training. So she's only wearing diapers while she sleeps. So we were able to cut our budget down from $45 a month to now only $25 a month. Our cell phones, it's $90, it's two cell phones. Our SRP, that's our electric bill. So our bill for April was $75.44. Our gas for the car, we have budgeted about $156.12 as a random number. So far we've only spent $97.16 though. So I have a feeling we will have money left over in this because there's only one week left, which is awesome. And then what we'll do is we'll actually roll that over into our car maintenance replacement savings account. Car insurance is $98 a month. So we have car maintenance slash replacement. So this is what we'd be if we knew we had an oil change coming up, or we needed to get tires, or we wanted to have it detailed, or we want to start saving for a new car. That's what we would put there. We didn't put anything in April. Car registration, that is going to be due in July. So you're going to see how we budget for that coming up. Roadside assistance that's due once a year as well. I don't remember the month though. I think it's coming up soon though. And then we have on here Arcadia and Elsa, and this is for if we are budgeting specifically for their commission jobs 
or clothing, things like that. And then our last area here is our fun category. So for us, we have it in different, uh, we have different categories that we've done. So eating out, so we're trying our best to eat only at the house. So we have eating out is fun. If we have drinks or we buy beers and we're like wine, whatever that's counted as drinks. Events, if we go somewhere or we have to pay for parking or pay for admission somewhere, that's for that. Vacations, self-explanatory. And we have Ricky, uh, Ricky's pocket money and my pocket money. Now we had this on the budget for years and we've never given ourselves our own pocket money. We've always just basically ate out and had drinks. That's pretty much all we've done. But now we are going to start doing it individually so we can decide how we want to spend our money. Do we want to eat out? Do we want to get some drinks? Uh, but you'll see in May, I'm actually we're actually going to be budgeting for specific events because we are planning um, an event with some, some of our friends. This video might be long because we're kind of going into stuff, but I wanted to bring this over to the side here so you can see what I've added over here. So this is April, like I mentioned. So I have on here cash. So this is so I know out of these categories how what cash do I have on hand. Okay. This is bank. This doesn't necessarily mean that it's in the same account. Uh, for now, it just means that it's it's in the bank or in a account or something it's, um, somewhere over there. And then I have like the total, so we know what we're saving for uh, or where we're at. And then I have I added here what our goal was. So our emergency savings, our goal is five thousand and five hundred dollars. So as of right now, we only have three hundred and ninety nine dollars. So we're getting back. Like I said, we have replaced this budget twice already. Um, so I know there by next year we should we should be able to have that replaced as, as well. Then the goal after that will be to put 10 to 20 percent of our income into our retirement funds. Um, so you get the idea. Christmas, our goal is to save $250 for Christmas. Uh, and then we have here our down payment for a house. We want to try to save up $20,000. Um, and then over here we have our due dates and our schedule. So this is um, if it has a specific due date or when we want to reach the goal by. So we want to have that savings by February of next year. That's basically around when tax time, uh, tax returns comes. We want to make sure we save whatever we can this year and then finish it out with our tax return. Basically December, like I said, Christmas money. So this has two categories here because rent is due on the first and we have to pay it manually online. And then we're hoping to have our down payment by 2020. The next bill down, the renter's insurance, that's due on the 10th. That's automatically withdrawn. Same thing with these. These are the due dates that are automatically withdrawn, so I don't have to worry about them. Um, so basically, it's just, you know, goals, setting goals, setting, you know, the date that you want to accomplish it. So that's what I've added onto my budget because, again, I wanted to see everything at a glance. That's April's budget. It's kind of more of a budget report card because it's where we're at right now. We only have one week left. All right, so now let's move on to May. So again, you guys will see, um, you'll notice, like I said, I'm not in the RV anymore. So we had, you can see some changes from what was for the RV. And if you're interested um, in what our expenses look like at the RV, in the RV, you can always go back and check out um, our last couple budget videos. For May, now, I've kind of put this May, August, and November. So for the reason I've done that is because I've looked ahead, and because Ricky gets paid every Wednesday, he actually gets five paychecks for May, August, and November. So this just gives me a rough draft that I can then work with as well. The reason I'm budgeting out three months this time is because I used to budget out two months at a time because that way I would know if I had it to hold any money to make sure I had it in the account for a bill that was due before a paycheck, if that makes any sense, as well if we had anything coming up that's not normal like or not regular like oil changes and things like that. We've done that. However, I want to start doing a quarter at a time um, and that's just so I can share that with you guys as well. So again, we have Ricky's work estimating $2,726. Now this should start to be a little more consistent after May. We should, you'll see in June it will be a little more consistent myself. Uh, for YouTube, I should be getting about $115. Uh, and then I've added on here teaching dance. Now, if you've been following us, you may have heard me mention in other videos that I used to own 
my own dance studio. Uh, so every once in a while I still have people call me and ask me to choreograph for something. So I was asked to choreograph a surprise dance for a wedding. Um, and so this is what I am charging to do that, $240. So I should be getting that. Our, our first practice is May 6th. So I should be getting that around, I should get that on that first day. So I will basically be putting it as the, um, let me open this up actually. I'm gonna be getting that as the, uh, around the third, because it'll be the sixth. And then Google pays around the 22nd. So I'm just putting it with the Ricky's 24th payment. Now, if you have questions, leave me some in the comments. I know I might be going through it fast if you, if you haven't heard it before. And again, thank you if you have heard it before for bearing with me. One other thing I wanted to mention that I forgot was what I have going on here. Everything that's um, white is basically which paycheck is covering that expense. So basically our income for the month should be $3,081.35. Our pay ourselves first, we're gonna be putting $285 dollars into savings. We're going to be investing $205 back into our business, um, but also paying for our internet. Our internet's $90. Uh, we have my personal development and Ricky's personal development. We're going to do $123 each. Again, we don't have to spend that every month, but we can start saving it. If I want to attend a workshop or something like that, then I'll save my money up so I can go attend that. If Ricky wants to um, get additional books, to go along with what he's learning at work, then he can get those as well. Gifts, we're gonna be saving $142 to go towards our Christmas fund. Once we reach our Christmas fund, then we will start investing, uh, we will start donation. I have become a trail segment steward for part of the Arizona Trail. It's a huge hiking trail that goes all the way from Mexico to Utah, it's like 800 miles and I have taken over a portion of five miles of that trail as a steward. So I will be going out to the trail at least four times during the year, doing maintenance on the trail, getting volunteers to go out for the trail, and that's just something that I'm doing on my own time. However, we do have to be part of their yearly membership, which is $35. So I will start paying that every year uh, in May because I will be starting that here next month. The other thing that I do for giving is because I have dance, uh, because I was teaching dance, I actually now am teaching the youth dance group for the Salvation Army here in Mesa, and I do that every Sunday. And so that's just, I donate my time two hours every Sunday to, to teach them dance, to choreograph dances for performances and stuff like that. And Arcadia's been taking the class and learning from me, so that's been really fun. So you guys, if you don't have a lot of money to give, you can give your time and still get the benefit of that. Our regular expenses. So basically things are gonna be roughly the same. Rent's the same, renter's insurance is the same. Groceries um, is 372 because there's 31 days in May instead of 30. Um, household, we are budgeting $30 because we will be in need of some paper towels and toilet paper and stuff like that. Diapers stays at 25 until we get her completely out of them. Cell phones, 90. Now electric, we're budgeting 75 because our last bill was 75, but we don't really know what it is yet. So we will continue to budget things like electricity and gas that change um, each month. We will still budget out whatever the last bill was. We will budget out that for the quarter and then we will um, change things up as we see we need to. So we're budgeting 75. It might actually be less than that. Uh, because we had that activation fee last month. However, we're getting into summer, so we'll see. So 75, um, the gas for the car, we're budgeting 160 again, uh, but like we noticed this month, we didn't, we're not probably gonna spend 160, but we're gonna go ahead and leave it like that for this time. Insurance, 98. Car maintenance slash replacement. We're doing $60. We are gonna be, I wanna put money aside for an oil change. We'll be due for that shortly. And I do wanna get the car um, kind of detailed and shampooed and stuff like that. Six months on the road, um, we have cleaned it once, but the girls have destroyed the back seat. So I, I wanna take care of it. Our car is paid in full, so we wanna keep, we wanna keep it looking good and functioning well. Um, car registration, like I mentioned, is due in July, so I want to have that money set aside ahead of time. Uh, I budgeted $80, to $80, I believe it was $82 last year. It should be a little less than that, but I don't know the exact amount yet. 
uh, roadside assistance. Again, I I know it's coming up soon, but I don't know, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on that till it's actually due. Uh, we are not doing commission jobs for the girls right now. We'll probably start doing that again shortly. And then our fun category, like I mentioned, we have some events, um, some things planned with some friends, so we budgeted that out. So eating out, Ricky and I wanted to be able to at least eat out at a restaurant once this month. We are going to be doing the Salt River. Uh, there's a Salt River tubing every summer out here in Arizona, and Ricky and I love going. So we have to pay for the tube rentals. Uh, as well, we um, bring some drinks with us, so we're going to have money put aside for that. And then we did sign up again for Netflix, so we're counting that as events, fun money. Um, so we have 42 budgeted for that. And then Ricky and I have our pocket money of about $70 each. So May is looking great money-wise because Ricky gets that extra check. I'm getting paid from Google, and I picked up a side job choreographing for a wedding. So that's pretty Awesome. All right, so now June, and basically, like I mentioned, June will be more or less what things will look like for the most part. I'm not sure. We'll see. So Ricky's job, if most months having only the four paychecks. So again, I've kind of put out here which months between now and the rest of the year will be based off of this budget. So I have June, July, September, October, December. So Ricky will be making roughly $2,224. Now, he is being um, trained as a, uh, um, in pipe fitting at his job, and they have talked about putting him in, in a pipe fitting assistance job, which would um, bring a raise. They are not ready to give him that yet. So Things might change here when they do give it to him. So for now, we're just budgeting out what he makes now. Uh, again, Google, YouTube, Amazon, I don't really know until it gets closer to that month. So we'll just say nothing for now. So we have here our paying ourselves first. So our emergency fund, we're going to add $200 to that. The business um, and internet, we actually... Okay, so internet for last month was $90 and some change. Uh, because we had the setup fees. After that, our internet is $64.99. So basically, this right here is only paying for the internet. I'm not going to have any extra money to invest in the business. Basically, it's the, the previous month. And then each of our personal developments will get about $24.50 each. Giving will be able to save another $95, again, to go towards our Christmas savings. And then our regular expenses. And rent is the same, $950.36. Renter's insurance, $10.75. Uh, groceries uh, for June, it's $360 because there's only 30 days, but this would change on the other months, depending. Personal care, household, we are not putting anything aside in June, but again, that could change on future months. Diapers, $25. I'm hoping she'll be out of them sooner than that, but we'll see. Cell phones, $90. Again, SRP, we're budgeting $75, but we'll see how... May goes and then car the gas for the car we're budgeting 160 again we'll see how May goes car insurance $98 and then moving down to our fun basically we have our Netflix $8 and then Ricky and I our pocket money roughly $19 so I hope that helped you guys if you are struggling living paycheck to paycheck and you're trying to find a way to get a hold of your money. I know the zero-based budget will definitely help you get a handle on your money. If you have any specific questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, as well, I'll be doing these videos at least once a quarter. Maybe we'll do two a quarter because we'll do kind of like a review and then a planning type video. We'll see how that goes. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.